Hi Libra. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. These are going to be your dailies. Please keep in mind that these readings are general and may or may not resonate. So take what does and leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus for more insight. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So Leos, how are you guys doing today? I hope all is well. We're just going to get some quick, 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 quick energy. I'm supposed to be taking these kids to a party at 5 o'clock. It's already like 4.40 and I'm still doing readings. But I like to give you guys what you need to know. At least get to the beginning, middle, and end and some advice. I know you guys need that. And I try to give it to you daily. At least throughout the week. So, yeah. Ooh, judgment in reverse. Who the hell y'all say hell no nah to? Somebody that broke your heart. Yeah. Okay, Libra. So it looks to me like somebody was trying to come back to offer you love with the uh, Knight of Cups. But judgment is in reverse. So you like hell to the nah. Uh uh. With the Seven of Pentacles, you've already put in energy to this, and you like, I was waiting for shit to grow. I, yeah, but you got the wait, the Two of Swords here, so two cards are waiting. And then you were like, take your time, be like, okay, you don't want to speak right now? All right, fine. But this left you heartbroken because I feel like this person never came to speak to you. You're waiting for something. You got your hand out for it, but it never came. That's your energy. Spirit, tell me why the Judgment card is here. Why is the judgment card here, spirit? Yeah, temperance. This person never came to balance it out. Yep, so you, with the death card, you ended things. You said, fuck that. Okay, so why do we have the two of swords still here? Hermit. Ten, okay, yeah, this is over. Even though I feel like you were still, like, in the idea of what am I going to do, you already know in the back of your head, like, this is a done dollar. So now with the four swords, what are, what are we doing here? What are we thinking about? Equal give and take. What are we going to do next? Who are we going to offer this to? Who are we going to work with next? So you're already trying to figure out who you're going to move on to. Three of swords, ace of wands. Okay, because you still want to you still want to offer something to this past person, but you know it's over. It's keeping you stuck. Yeah, you feel left out in the cold because you know deep down inside you know that this is over. Yeah, you look the will of fortune to the hangman. You know you have to move forward. You know it's time to look at things from a different perspective. It is time. That's all I keep hearing. Okay, look at this. We got the kink and the queen of swords here. So this was definitely a relationship. This could have been a long-term relationship. Could have been somebody you were married to. But it is a dun-da-da. Give me a little bit more information, please, for my Libra. Look at that. I have all the cards of being fucking done. The Wheel of Fortune. Page of Pentacles at the bottom. This could have been a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. It could be children involved. However way it goes, there's something going on with the Page of Pentacles. We'll find out in a second. So, Spirit, please give me some energy for my Libra. Tell me what exactly is going on with my Libra. Who is this person? Who is this person that we are completely done with? Like, you are, you have so many cards of ending hurts, betrayal, not going back, trying to balance yourself off. It's just like done, 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 done. Who is this person? It could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, but... This person feels left out in the cold, too. Yeah, they might have been juggling you with someone else. Yeah, it could have been with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, they loved each other. But this person broke their heart. So they went to someone else. This person broke their heart. And then they cut this person off. So now your person, whoever this past person is, they're single. And they probably want to return. You both want to return, but you're like, no. Yeah, you're guarded. But the Knight of Swords, every time this person comes in to speak to you, you, you basically jump down their throat. Or every time you they come in to speak to you, you yeah, you jump down their throat. Uh, temperance. Um, I got that twice. So you both are trying to balance out the situation. They are thinking about how they're going to get to this tool. They're trying to get past this too. With the two of wands here, they know they're at a crossroads. Fuck. With the two of, uh, with the king of coins in reverse, they probably don't have no money either. This person is struggling financially. But with the hermit here, they went within. 
They probably aren't speaking to you that much. They're a little depressed. Yeah, they're burdened by the fact that you're moving away. They're trying to start something new, but I feel like this is in another... Uh, this is not towards you. This is moving somewhere else. This is going towards something else. Mm. Mm, it might be moving towards you. They're trying, yeah. This is trying to move back towards you, Virgo. I mean, it could be a Virgo. It's trying to move back towards you, Libra. And that's that's going to create a tower moment because you like you wasn't giving me what you were supposed to in the first place. And again, with the Wheel of Fortune to the Three of Cups, you're like, uh, no, because this is toxic. I'm going to just sit here and heal. Yeah. So, let me get some cards for the outcome, please. Cards for the outcome for my Libra. Libra gang. All right, Libra. So, this is, this is the outcome. I feel like you're going to be manifesting. stability yeah but it's not going to be with this person with the chariot at the bottom of the deck you're moving forward you could reconcile with someone else maybe a capricorn virgo or taurus if not you're definitely moving to calmer waters with someone who you are passionate about someone who might be a bit controlling or you might be a bit controlling of the situation but you've been holding on to them too and that was the gag because at the end of the day this person probably didn't even know that you had somebody else that you were sneaking around with giving love to you know juggling but we're gonna leave that here what is your advice what is your advice oh Ooh. all right so right now you already know that this relationship is too um complicated for you so it's saying be single Get your mind right. All right, you guys. Thank you.